a lower death on you 100 more people. Hey, are you ready for some more Super Circus Bible? And I'm glad because we've got more Super Circus fun for you right now. Because all set in the center of the Super Circus Arena is our ringmaster, Mr. Claude Kirchner, who's all ready to blow the whistle that will start the Super Circus show. So come on, gang. Let's get going. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and children of all ages, your Super Circus show is on once again with more laughs, thrills, and chills brought to you for your television entertainment and brought to you by Kellogg's, the greatest name in cereals, Kellogg's. And now the show is on as we direct your attention to the portable rigging right behind me here in ring number one. There we present one of the circus's most accomplished ladies, Miss Vivian Nelson! and the rigging parted and nothing really happened. Our stagehands are now putting the rigging back together again and uh, we'll see whether we'll have the finish of the act. Yes. I see that Miss, uh, Miss uh, Vivian Nelson wasn't injured. I knew she wouldn't be because she didn't fall very far. She didn't really fall at all. She just kind of eased to the ground. Now, here comes the other member of this very fine uh, cast. Uh, are the fellows going to hold there? Good. Well, then you'll see a few extra members, too, just holding the rigging together. Here's one of the most delightful 14-year-olds we've ever had the pleasure of presenting, Miss Christine. Come on, Chris. <laughs> Circus star button on the horizon, boys and girls. 
uh, Miss Vivian Nelson's newest protege and one of the most delightful 14-year-olds ever to grace our arena. Miss Christine with Miss Vivian Nelson, brought to you for your entertainment and pleasure in ring number one of our Super Circus Arena. Now, here is a message from Kellogg. Hey kids, here's Mary with some big news from Kellogg. Say, boys and girls, I'd like to show you this wonderful Mary Hartline magic doll that the Kellogg folks have for you. See? She looks just like me. She's made out of sturdy plastic boards, one inch of an inch thick, stands nine inches high in her own plastic stand, and she comes in true to life color. But the most wonderful thing about this magic doll is she really is magic. You just cut out one of these cute costumes, slide it back and forth a couple of times like this, and the costume will stick right on magically. No tap, no paste. And with the magic doll, you get ten beautiful two-color outfits. Everything from shorts to a beautiful pink formal. Why, even two of my own Super Circus costumes. And kids, you can get this terrific Mary Hartline magic doll just by sending in 25 cents in coin and a box top from Kellogg's Sugar Smacks or Kellogg's Sugar Frosted Flakes. Use the handy order blank on the package or send direct to Mary Hartline Doll, Box 313, Battle Creek, Michigan. That's Mary Hartline Magic Doll, Box 313, Battle Creek, Michigan. That's the prettiest cutout doll ever and such fun to play with. So send for your Mary Hartline magic doll right away. <laughs> Boys and girls, this is the day for Jinx to get into trouble. First of all, he wants to be director on our Super Circus show, and now he wants to be a cameraman. And if you don't believe me, take a look right over there. There he is in Wally Jellick's lap. Yes, sir, at camera number two. And if you think that he's going to be a cameraman, you ought to take a look at some of the pictures that he's going to take. That's right. Now, don't you get excited over there. Uh, uh, oh, see, there's Nikki. How about... Oh, now, listen here, James. Now, now is that night... Oh, is that nice to your old pal, Nikki? Oh. oh, my goodness. I'm dizzy, Fife. What's the matter with you, Jinx? Those ca cameramen have got enough trouble without you bothering. Now, now, come on with me and be a good boy. That's our Jinx, the super chimp. <laughs> okay, thanks, Nikki. Time now for a visit to the Super Menagerie. Hiya, 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 hiya. All right now, ladies and gentlemen. May I have your attention, please? If you'll just step this way and listen to what I have to say. Right over here, right over here, by the cages with the animals on the inside. Yes, sorry, folks. It's your super menagerie. Now, hurry, hurry, hurry. The animals are waiting for you, and there's plenty of room for everybody to see them. Yes, sir. And here, and you'll hear about them from our head trainer, Mr. Bernie Hoffman. Hi, Claude. Welcome Hi. to the Super Menagerie. Thank you very much, Bernie. What's on our animal agenda today? Well, today, Claude, I thought I'd show our viewers the difference in character between some of the bad actors of the animal world and some of those more gentle animals which we know. All right. Now, if we can take a look at our little friend, the rabbit over here, we all know that he's very timid. And he's got a good right to be, Claude, because so many animals chase him around. His little ears are continuously searching the breeze for any sound that they can pick up so that he can scamper away. Now, this type of animal, the little uh, cottontail rabbit, makes a very poor pet because he's just too timid and too shy. <laughs> well, you can tell from the way he's having his picture taken right here. Now, this looks like one of the animals that would make a rabbit shy, Bernie. Yes, it would, Claude, because this is a coyote. And uh, this little fella, of course, is only a baby coyote. But, you know, the full-grown one is a menace to any rabbit in his vicinity. And uh, if we take a good look at his teeth, we'll see he's got some very sharp teeth. Come on, open up your mouth, Dave. Uh, you see those little sharp teeth there? Well, they're very strong. And also, he's got a very slender build, long, tall legs, which enable him to scamper over the ground and catch any rabbit. 
Well, this is a hunter, and usually the hunting animals make much better pets than those timid ones. Well, Bernie, I'll bet you lots of the boys and girls never expected a coyote to look so cute. Boy, he really looks real, real cute. Well, now let's get back to uh, the gentler type of our menagerie animals again. Well, there we have another one, Claude, and this little fella is called the prairie dog. Now, the prairie dog makes a meal for many of the bigger animals. In fact, the badger, the wolf, the fox, the coyote, they all regard him as a tasty snack. Now, these little prairie dogs live out in our western plains in huge colonies, and every time they pop their head out of a burrow, why, some enemy is liable to scalp them. So, therefore, he's quite timid and nervous, too. Say, uh, Bernie, uh, you don't suppose maybe you let one of the animals out, huh? No, sir. Relax, Claude. That's just Keita the leopard with her owner, Denise Darnell. Now, I asked Denise to bring Keita along here so the boys and girls could see a real pet leopard. See, uh, Miss Darnell, if you don't mind, I won't come over and shake hands with you, okay? Hello, Claude. <laughs> well, Keita doesn't like strangers, so I'll keep her real close to me. That a girl. Well, Claude, we all know that the leopard is a powerful beast, but did you know that it's also a terrific killer? These leopards usually crawl through the trees ready to pounce on any victim they can find. And the natives are all deathly afraid of the leopard because although he's smaller than the tiger, he's a much more ferocious animal. Now, their usual diet happens to be all sorts of uh, cattle, sheep, dogs, in fact, any animal they can get hold of. And, in fact, these fellows sometimes become man-killers, and when they do, the natives certainly watch out for them. Uh, see, uh, the way Miss Darnell is handling Keita, though, uh, she doesn't seem to be much of a man-killer, but I don't suppose that anybody else can handle her like that. Isn't that right, Denise? No, nobody else can get near her. I can well believe that. Well, that certainly is good protection for a pretty girl like that. Not that she needs it, but in case she ever does, why, there it is. Uh, Denise, how long have you had Keita? Well, Keita was born in India. Now, we've had her since she was five months old. She's six years old now. Yes, and, and you know that Keita is a very marvelous animal for a big cat because it is so team and gentle that's uh, something that's really out of the way. Now, Keita is going to make an appearance with Denise tonight over at Riverview Park here in Chicago. And uh, I want to say that Denise does a dance act with Keita the Leopard, and she's taught him a lot of other little tricks besides the regular act. Now, she's going to do something that is really difficult. She's going to put a piece of meat in her mouth and ask Keita to take it from her. There, do you see that? Now, that is really hard to do because the average big cat, all the lions and tigers and leopards usually pounce upon their food, and they're very rough in their eating habits. They just don't like any fooling around at dinner time. Bernie, that's absolutely amazing. Miss Darnell, we enjoyed seeing you and Keita on our show. Best of luck to you. That's a beautiful animal. Just keep them on the leash, will you? <laughs> Bernie, we enjoyed seeing the other menagerie animals, too, and we'll be looking forward to seeing you again real, real soon. Thank Bernie you. Hoffman, boys and girls, head trainer of the Super Menagerie. <laughs> It's certainly a great day for the animals on Super Circus, isn't it, boys and girls? First of all, we had a rattlesnake, and we have Keita the leopard, and in just a little while, the elephants will take over on ring number one. And wasn't that Keita a beautiful, beautiful leopard? Really unusual. It's another enjoyable menagerie trip with Bernie Hoffman. Now, here's something very special for boys and girls and grown-ups, too. See, kids, we're having a ball down in Clown Alley. Nikki's teaching Mary how to waltz. Come on. Oh, no! Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey, what you doing, Jake? What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm teaching Mary how to walk. Yeah. Waltz? <laughs> Don't be a square all your life. What? Ain't you heard about the latest dance craze? Man, it's the sugar smack swing. <laughs> Oh, big, big breakfast, good, good snack. Swing the Kellogg sugar snack. Everybody swing for a big, big breakfast, a good, good snack. Swing to Kellogg sugar snack. Mm. Gee, Kathy, that sugar snack swing is a lot of fun. <laughs> but, but I know something that's even more fun. What's that? And that's eating a big heaping bowl full of those golden cups of wheat with milk all over them. Mm. Say, no wonder the swing is to Kellogg sugar snack. And Mary, don't forget the swing to smacks for snacks. Because you can eat sugar snacks right out of the box, you see. Because every bite is candy sweet. 
because every sugar smack is sugar toasted. Hey, Mary. <laughs> do you dig the sugar smacks out of the box? I did. Okay, then let's swing. For a big, big breakfast, a good, good snack, swing to Kellogg's sugar smacks. Hey, get with it, kids. Pick up one of those red and white packages with Mary and Clippy on the front. And join the swing to smackin' good Kellogg Sugar Smacks. And now, boys and girls, just as I told you a little while ago, it's time for one of the mightiest of the mighty finales. The pachyderms are parading around in ring number one. I mean those elephants. And here they are. Millers and Woodcock's wonderful elephants. Here they come. to do. Even Jinx the Super Chimp has trouble with this one. But watch Lydia. Just the right amount of shimmy and shake, too, I'll have you know. Okay, anyway, let's beat the gong around a little bit more. I guess that's kick the gong, isn't it? A dancing elephant! In a real fancy getup, too. What I mean about shimmy and shake? Now, boys and girls, here's one of Circus Num's most hilarious features, an elephant barber shop, I'll have you know. <laughs> Lydia is the customer, <laughs> and Anna Mae the barber. Now, Lydia, apparently, uh, apparently in Africa, lady elephants get shaved. Uh, at least we're maybe stretching a point, but she's certainly going to get shaved on Super Circus today. All right, Annie Mae, let's pick up the lather. That's a girl. Let's get it all over your buddy there. That's a way. I'd call that more of a whitewash, but an elephant town, that's getting ready for a shave. Now we'll need the razor. 
Oh, we haven't got enough yet. That's the way. <laughs> no, no, Lydia, don't eat it. No, no, now, honey, leave it up there. My gracious sakes, I don't think she's been a customer in the barber shop very long. Oh, there it goes again. Oh, now, here comes the, the razor. We'll have to strop it first. Get it good and sharp. There's the raise, the razor. Uh-huh. Got a few whiskers left there, Annie Mae, on the... That's the spirit. Now, just the finishing touches, that's it. Well, Lydia goes right back to... eating the shaving cream. Oh, now we'll have to wash it all off. That's the spirit! <laughs> Wow. I wonder if you have to pay for a shave like that. That's quite a harrowing experience. Oh, Annie Mae's starting to eat the towel. No, honey, you, that's right. That's what you use it for. Wipe everything off. We dust them off. Any loose hairs or little dandruff. You have three of the most talented and delightful, if you can call an elephant, delightful elephants we've ever had the pleasure of having on our Super Circus show. Lydia, Annie Mae, and Fenn, including the presentation of the only elephant barbershop in the world today. They perform, boys and girls, and always do a swell job under the name of Millers and Woodcock Elephants, and they're trained and presented by Mr. and Mrs. Bill Woodcock, whom you saw uh, put them through their paces on our Super Circus show today. So there we have the elephants. And now, here is a message from our alternate sponsor. Hey, kids, here's Mary Hartline. Say, boys and girls, there's nothing so good as a cool, refreshing drink on these hot summer days. And whether you like orangeade, lemonade, soft drinks, milk, or even a cool drink of water, the best and easiest way to serve it and drink it is out of a Dixie cup. Mmm, I know because I use them at home all the time. And you ask your mother, she knows. She knows that Dixie cups save her a lot of extra glasses to wash. She knows that Dixie cup means there's less of breaking glasses. And she knows, too, that drinking from a Dixie cup is more sanitary because everyone has his own individual cup. And it's so easy to have lots of Dixie cups handy when you have this attractive Dixie dispenser. So you ask Mother the next time that she goes shopping to get a Dixie dispenser and several refill boxes of Dixie cups. Dixie cup, America's number one paper cup. <laughs> Now here's Mary Hartline, uh, Sandy Scamby Dover, just still on vacation, why Nikki Francis, and Cliffy Sabir. Now where's that jinx the super chimp? Uh, don't tell me he got fired by Ed Scott just because he wanted to take over as director. I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't either. <laughs> well, while we look for him, let's have another round of applause for the folks who did such a swell job of entertaining us on our Super Circus show. There's Vivian Nelson and 14-year-old Christine. There they are, right over there. 
Bernie Hoffman, head trainer of the Super Menagerie. <laughs> Miss Denise Darnell, who brought that fabulous leopard Kita to our show. And there's Mrs. Bill Woodcock. Thanks for bringing the elephants, Mrs. Woodcock. Yes, sir, we sure do love those elephants. Sort of reminds me of somebody on our cast. Now, could it be Cliffy? Oh, 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 please. Why, how can I say a thing like that? <laughs> Scampy will be back from his vacation next week, boys and girls. But I'll be gone, and Freddie Casper is going to take over, and uh, we'll get a few... Well, maybe they're not well-deserved, but we'll get a few days of rest. Now, kids, before we go, I want to ask you something. Uh, how much energy do you suppose you use in a single day? Well, believe me, it's plenty. So you better get busy and replace that energy, the super energy way, with Kellogg's Pep Wheat Flakes. Because Kellogg's Pep has what it takes. All the natural energy found in whole wheat. The reserve power you need for hard work and hard play. So remember... Get Pep! In step. Get Kellogg's Pep! Oh! From the greatest name in cereal! Kellogg's! Super Circus was produced by Bill Patton. Directed by Ed Scott. Technical director, Ray Roy Hayward. Designer, Clyde Rickabar. This has been an ABC television presentation from Chicago. Next Sunday, see Dateline Disneyland on ABC Television Network.